Hey guys, welcome to vtchacademy.com. Today's topic is trigonometric ratios of 180 degrees minus theta in terms of theta. So here we already know that 180 degrees minus theta lies in second quadrant, and if theta, which lies in second quadrant, that is pi by 2 less than theta less than pi. So here we can say that the angle ranging between 90 degrees and 180 degrees falls in second quadrant, and in second quadrant only sine and its reciprocal cosecant are positive, and rest of the ratios are negative. And now let us find the values of trigonometric ratios of 180 degrees minus theta in terms of theta. So first, let us begin with the trigonometric ratio sine. So sine 180 degrees minus theta. And we already know that 180 degrees minus theta lies in second quadrant, and in second quadrant, sine is positive. So here we get the result in positive, and 180 is an even number, so sine remains sine. So here we get positive sine theta as the value of sine 180 degrees minus theta. And now let us consider an another ratio that is cos. So here cos 180 degrees minus theta. So cos will be negative in second quadrant. So here we get the result a negative and 180 is an even number. So cos remains cos. So here we get minus cos theta as the value of cos 180 degrees minus theta. And now let us proceed with the another trigonometric ratio that is tan. So tan 180 degrees minus theta will be equal to minus tan theta, and then cot 180 minus theta. So 180 minus theta lies in second quadrant, and in second quadrant cot is negative. So here we get minus cot theta, and then the next ratio which is cosecant. So cosecant 180 minus theta. So 180 minus theta lies in second quadrant, and in second quadrant cosecant is positive. So here we get positive cosecant theta as the value of cosecant 180 degrees minus theta, and then the value of secant 180 degrees minus theta will be equal to minus secant theta. And now let us proceed and discuss examples where we are going to use these formulas to find the result. So here the given example is find the value of tan 120 degrees. So tan 120 can be written in the form of tan 180 degrees minus 60 degrees, as 180 minus 60 will be equal to 120. So here it is in the form of tan 180 degrees minus theta, which is equal to minus tan theta. So here we get minus tan 60 degrees, and then we already know the value of tan 60, which is root 3. So here we get minus root three as the value of tan 120 degrees. And now let us proceed and discuss one more example where we have to find the value of secant 150 degrees. So secant 150 can be written in the form of secant 180 degrees minus 30 degrees. So here it is in the form of secant 180 minus theta, which is equal to minus secant theta. So here we get minus secant 30 degrees. And then we already know the value of sine 30 degrees, which is 2 by root 3. So here we get minus 2 by root 3 as the value of secant 150 degrees. So make a note that 180 degrees minus theta lies in second quadrant, and in second quadrant only sine and cosecant are positive, and rest of the ratios are negative. So this was a basic introduction on trigonometric ratios of 180 degrees minus theta in terms of theta. Hope you understood the concept. For more videos on trigonometry, visit our website vtchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.